over. Last mission, last mission. The final boss mode. However, though, we do have some other interesting stuff, you know, other interesting news that happened in the world of boxing. Now, of course, you know, if you have been following the, the saga between TFM and Lopez, top rank, you know, you'll see, you know, top rank is not willing to pay Teofimo the price that he wants for his first title of defense. You know, and this has been going back and forth. Teofimo has been in the social media with this stuff. Top rank is like, no. And then Bob Arum, of course, you know, Bob being Bob, you know, being 89 year old Bob, you know, he's very candid now. Super candid. Yeah, Bob, Bob is Bob is completely in don't give a fuck mode. Like he's not even, he don't even care. He's like, look, like, he's like, listen here, bro. Like, okay, Lopez can't bust us. Ugh, I don't feel no heat from it. So yeah, it's not worth no goddamn three, four million dollars you, you're talking about, or five million, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and we, I don't even care. I don't give a fuck if it goes to the fucking purse bed. I don't, you know, shit. Let it go to purse bed. Kiss my ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why you hardly ever get mega fights from top rank unless they do a co-promotion with someone else. Like, mm -hmm. they don't put the type of money out there to make mega fights, like. Cheap ass Bob, fuck you. Think about it, like, this fight is financially bigger than the fight you had with Lomachenko and Lopez. Right. But what was the more significant fight? It, it's it, it, Lomachenko it, it, Lopez, so. <laughs> it, it's, just, it's crazy, like. Yeah, so unfortunately, top rank since they wanted to be cheap about it, decided that, yeah, we're, we're going to go to the first bit. Now, obviously, most of us thought, in fact, almost all of us thought that the zone would most likely, because Eddie had already let it be known that, yeah, he, he wanted it. You know, he was going to put it on his own card. And we're like, and everyone expected that, that that was going to happen. You know, we was like, you know, top rank, you know, Eddie's going to outdo him. But what we didn't expect was seeing tweets where Triller, of all people, puts in a bid and they put in a bid for 6.01 million dollars they were they were the one with just four million yeah they yeah, they were. All in. yeah i guess <laughs> i mean so and now of course that now this obviously throws a huge shot so now you know trailer so now tfm lopez will be fighting not only first first time but not only off espn on top rank card but he'll be fighting on a company that's just known for social media stuff, you know. So and now, known with the one of the best pay per views of last year too. Cause yeah. this is trailer. <laughs> nice. Yo, so it, so it, oh, so it's about the fight, and we got some new guys in there too. <laughs> social media Yo. promotion. So, so this obviously was absolute fuckery, you know, because like Triller, I mean, yes, they're coming off uh, this, a very highly successful boxing pay-per-view, the biggest one, probably and also the best one too. We all agree on that, you know, of yeah. last year. So it was like, okay, they, they want, I guess they want to keep the momentum going. So now, is, now of course, Tio Fimo, obviously, you know, Tio Fimo was like, yeah, I got my money, kiss my ass this, kiss my ass that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, See, I'm proud of him. I'm happy with him that that's yeah. how you get to your guns. It don't have to be, everybody ain't going to believe in you, man. You have to believe in him. Yeah. I mean, he gambled and he, so pretty much now for his cut, I think he gets a little bit under 4 milli, you know, minus about 780,000, which has to go to top rank since they're no longer the lead promoter. And then Cambosis gets like 2.3 million. Which is insane, actually. A Yildrum pack. Yeah, for yeah, because it's a, because it's a what, a, a 25 split, I believe. Is that or it's a 70, 70, 70, 30. 70, 30. Oh, 70, 30, yeah. yeah, and then you know minus whatever Lou DeBella gets. I think he's he's a Lou DeBella fighter. So they, they so they both made up pretty. You know they got the money that they wanted. You know so now. Obviously, this is, this is going to set a very interesting precedent now because now Trillers has shown to willingly overpay for this type of fight. I mean, this is Cambosis and, and Tiafimo Lopez. Like, this is not, a, I mean, truthfully, Bob is right. It's not a big fight, but this is also not a fight that you want to pay $6 million for. But it's an investment. Yeah. I mean, I think they overpaid a little bit. I think they overpaid by two mil. 
<laughs> they overpaid, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. They yeah, want, it's here now. Like, fuck it. <laughs> for, for them, for them, it makes sense because they want to build up their, you know, their 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 profile. So right. they got money to burn and fuck it. Yeah, they got plenty of money to burn. Yeah. All they need is just if they have one guy that they build up for themselves on that platform that's financially like that's tied to them and like from no other promoter. That's the only other thing they need to do. But after that, like I see the whole do like what Showtime was doing, purchasing the fights that go to bid, whatever. Put them on your platform and you spice it up. Had all the damn fireworks and the celebrities and shit. Yeah, and the fun thing too, I mean, that's what Trilla said. Trilla says, like, look, I, we're not here to steal fighters away from there. Like, all we want to do is just, like, to raise his social media profile for both fighters, like, four times, four or five times before they go back to their promoters. You know, that's, that's, what, that's, that's a cool thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, ask for more money. And, 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 of course, you know, old ass cant- cantankerous Aram didn't like that. Yeah, no. And, you know, for this, you know, he didn't like what Eddie did. Eddie, because Eddie's his direct yeah, competition. Yeah. But he, 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 he liked what Triller did for whatever reason. He better. He getting a cut. Yeah, he's getting. A cut. He's like, well, I'm getting. You know, I'm getting almost eight hundred thousand dollars in the span of ten minutes. So you know, yeah, whatever. You know, but he was more pissed at Eddie because Eddie like outbid it like. Top Rank had the lowest bid. Like Eddie was like three and a half million. Like Top Rank was like 2.2, 2.3 million. You know, like that's embarrassing. Your home promoter didn't even bother. You know, yeah. and you the biggest name in the division. I'm saying, like, you know, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, yeah, Top Rank, Top, Top Rank. I mean, they should be embarrassed that you know they're they're going to be fighting on a pay per view, which is another thing. How do you sell a Tiafimo Lopez, George Cambosis pay-per-view? How do you sell that? Hmm. Um, you could put it with another good fight that I'm hearing about that you that is basically in the works. You know. Another another exhibition match. You know. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they said they said they, they said I uh, said it was gonna be in May for the fight. I mean, we, I'm, I'm hearing I'm hearing a certain uh, a certain uh, fight that we saw twice in the '90s is mm. happening as an exhibition and is basically signed, sealed, and delivered. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, because, um, yeah, it would definitely, because you can't, obviously, challenges of selling that on its own would be great. You know, although I'm pretty sure both men would be willing to do whatever since they're getting overpaid for this fight, <laughs> pretty much. You know, but yeah, no, but yeah, it, it, it'd have to be paired with something. And yeah, if this was on, you know, Tyson and Holyfield, quote unquote, three, you know, then. Yeah, I heard yeah. it's the main event for it. I mean, I mean, the funny thing is too. I mean, I know Lopez has all the respect in the world for Mike Tyson, so it's better to put these put put both these fights together. Yeah, I mean, is Tailfield gonna fucking complain? It's Tyson, like the fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll slap box up. I'll slap <laughs> box under a damn Tyson card. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> true. Very true. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be interesting to see what they're gonna do. But for now, yep, you know, they're, they're on Triller and Aram. Obviously, although he says he's not, he's happy for Triller paying for it six million dollars because you know he's getting paid. Like it's it's you know it's still bullshit. ESPN lost a, a, a significant fight. And yeah, Max let him hear about it. <laughs> yeah, he did. Sure did. You know. And then Eddie is like, you know, and it's like I don't know what the fuck he's blaming me for. Shit, that's your fight, and not mine. You know, I just wanted I just wanted to get I just wanted to get it from my, on my platform because I saw the value in him. You know, you can kick rocks. <laughs> you know, and he's right though. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely not Eddie Hearn's fault for that. You know, you know, I, I would have loved to see it on the zone because you know it wouldn't be it wouldn't be pay per view. You know, like you know, put it you could probably pair it with a Devin Haney or shit like that, and bam, you know, you, you got some two birds with one stone. Now you got a real fight on the Tyson card. Get a YouTuber, get Bottle Jack. You got you a card, bring back Snoop. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You got, you got a million pay per view buys. 
Yeah, and in the, in the, in 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 this and this sets an interesting precedent now because obviously I know one of the biggest things about that is what you know in the in the with Terrence Crawford. Obviously, we all know that Terrence Crawford has had some issues too getting a fight signed. You know, especially you know he's trying to get one with his mandatory, which is Sean Porter. You know, they, they gotta work out the financials on that one because Aram doesn't want to. Paid or paid. No, Tanker is Bob at it again. What's what else is new? So, I'm going to start calling it out. Everybody calls out, everybody yells when niggas fuck up. People call out PBC, they, they bitch at match room, the zone. But nah, a time ain't be fucking up some fights. Yeah, so, and the thing is, though, they can't order purse bid yet because, I mean, WBO has to order the fight in order for it to even have a chance to go to purse bid. So, you know, so we're waiting. That's the reason why we haven't seen her anything like yeah, that. Yeah, well, because because Porter doesn't want to fucking Porter does. If Porter wanted to enforce it, he could enforce it, but he doesn't want to because he wants he, he wants to actually negotiate. He knows he'll get less if he goes to person. Yep. Yeah, of course he is. And he even said like he even said he like he he himself even said come to me with a good offer because he has. He's also the WBC mandatory, so he could easily get the Spence fight. He has that in his back pocket. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and the fight was close enough where, yeah, some people will be like, ah, I'm tired of these retreads and remixes. You know, give me something else. Get get Diddy and Jermaine Dupri alone. <laughs> but you know, some people will be like, Yeah, who was a fight of the year candidate? Fuck, y- y- y'all y'all gonna run it back? Mm-hmm. Why not? And you know, we would watch it. Like you'd be a fool to miss that fight. Yeah, we definitely will. Well, unless you catch a real fight. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. So that's how that's how we looking at it. And, and and Porter, like, let's be honest. If you're not offering Porter at least two mil, I can't say you're trying to uh, negotiate in good faith. Right. Apparently, Aaron's only offering him a mil. Yeah. That, that same uh, low ball routine that he was giving Pacquiao opponents. Soon as Pacquiao go to PBC, oh, so now a Broner fight could get made. Oh, Thurman fight could get made. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's incredibly uh, yeah, it, it it gets frustrating. You get you get into the when you get into the politics and the business of of this of of this whole bullshit, you know. And truthfully, I want to see this go. To, I want to see the fight go to first bed. I don't think I don't think they're ever gonna come to any type of real agreement. But like I said, the WBO has to order it. Someone's there. Yeah, because Sean Porter would indeed be Terrence Crawford's best opponent to date, ever, mm-hmm. all time. Right. So I'm yes. sure P- I'm yes. sure PBC will definitely want better than Gamboa. Better than Kevin Brook. I mean Kel Brook <laughs> in 2020. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, yeah, we know Brooke beat Porter clearly, but yes, Porter is better than Brooke right now. <laughs> you know, because you know that one guy is going to be like, but, but, but. So, you know, Top Rain got got some explaining to do in the words of Larry Merchant. Yeah, they do. Like, but, I, but you know, like I said, Triller, though, you know, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how they go about their 2021 with this boxing because. The thing is, too, I don't think because Bo- Trilla doesn't want to invest in any boxes. Like they're not trying to build any boxes like that. I don't know if they're like a YouTuber or something like that. Nah, like like I've always said, like all they need is just one regular person with potential. All they need, and they can match them up with anybody. They got the money to make the fights. They don't need to. Like if if you're trying to get like skin in the game this guy that you're promoting that you're having based on Triller mm-hmm. he could fight on other people's platforms and then people could start trading fighters and make I'm trying to build networks trying to make this shit be- bigger and better right because I like what Triller is doing it's like Triller could be like that stimulus pack for anybody absolutely I mean, imagine Crawford fighting like a good live opponent on the Triller platform Mm-hmm. You know how like he would do numbers. Absolutely. Presentation and, and just the whole vibe and, and and 
him constantly be on social media. Like Tiafimo Lopez, he's perfect for Triller. Like absolutely like, imagine a broner fight on on promoted with trailer like that'd be bananas yeah so so it's so, so, so it's nice though that you have trailer in there just you know throwing a wrench into the old ways yeah you, know? you need a wild card in the game man because if not everybody just gonna be stuck in their bullshit and not try to experiment with anything and right. we'll get the same type of weekends we had fucking last week exactly <laughs> that type of bullshit Right, yeah, so yeah, so yeah, Trilla though, yeah, salute you, you know, I mean, 6.01 million dollars, you know, that's that's ballsy, you know, but yeah. I, but yeah, we're all confident, you know, there's, there, there's a method behind the badness, so we look forward to seeing how this card, how this card is going to be developed and whatnot, because most likely, I might even, if the card is, looks like it is developed, I'm, shit, I, I might actually just, I might actually spend the money, Cause like I said, because I enjoyed the Tyson Jones one so much anyways. You know, that expected, so I was like, you know what? I might actually give this a shot and actually go get the trailer app on my Roku or some shit like that. You, you know, the, the, the vibe trailer has is like the boxers, like, they seem like they want to be on that shit. Like, yeah. everybody starts doing more videos. Like, think about it. You see more clips of Holyfield training and in the gym within the last year than we've seen in, from Deontay Wilder in 10 years. Facts. Absolute facts. I rest my fucking case. Because I know there's people like, man, why y'all keep having these old boxers? I know got people got what Tarver fighting Mir now. Yeah, of all, of all of all fights, you know. You know, of all the fucking fights. <laughs> you know, it, it has interest. And it, it really shouldn't work that way. But boxing, you're doing this to yourself. Yeah, you're doing dude, this to yourself. We want to see you when we want to see him. Stop with these generational legacy fights and, and and making them happen every fucking ten years and five years when they should be happening every other year. Mm-hmm. We we should have already had Canelo Golovkin. We should have had Floyd Pop twice. We should have had. We should be on the second Crawford Spence fight. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, like like this is ridiculous, man. Absolutely. And, and Triller comes in and just makes something with the scraps. Yeah, yeah, this, it, yeah. It was absolutely yeah. I mean, it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. Boxing is it, 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 it's it, it's absolutely weird in that aspect that it, it, it operates like that, like for real. Like yeah, yeah. We need yeah, boxing needs to be shaken up and. Yeah, Triller needs to do this. <laughs> I will, I will support Triller in this, like big time. Like it's a dirty job, but somebody got to do it. Absolutely. It's so no. like game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the you know. So yeah, you know. Speaking of that, we have to obviously go into you know the final parts of our conversation for tonight. The Both of walking PBC. You know what I'm saying? So 